He was always so happy. He was a great kid. He was always very respectful. Jordan Spinato was not the most talented or skilled athlete at American Heritage High School. But in the state championship game in 2007, he had an opportunity to etch his name into Florida high school legend. Jordan Spinato, a 5'8 senior who has not attempted a field goal all year. It happened so fast. It was like, let's just give the kid a shot. I thought the last thing in the world was going to happen. He was going to make a 43-yard field goal. We were like, oh my god, what if he doesn't make it? <laughs> to win a title. The kick is up. The kick is good. It's good. It's like the moment you just dream of. It was one of the greatest endings of a football game like I've ever been a part of. State championship on a kick. No, that, that, those are things that you see in, in books. and you, you, you hear those stories and those myths. Most exciting moment of my life right now. After graduation from American Heritage, Jordan bounced around. He took some community college classes, crashed on some sofas with friends, and even spent a year in California with family. He returned home in the summer of 2013, and that's when his family started to notice a change. The All-American kid with the great attitude was arrested. The charges were eventually dropped. Then we realized he was really with kids he didn't right. belong that we to didn't be hanging know. out and with. And normally we knew everybody. And those new friends were introducing Jordan to a new world. He was a mama's boy, and he always was, and it was hard to have that happen. I didn't know that person. I didn't want him around my kids. I didn't even want to be in the same room as him. He was not my brother. The Spinano family began to wonder <laughs> if their son, who five years ago had experienced that ultimate sports high, was now trying to get that feeling from somewhere else. I went in his room, and I found like some tin foil and stuff like I just I'm like I don't know what this is but Google really is tells you everything when he looked at us in the face and we said either you're gonna have to move out or go to rehab you know he said it's me and I need help heroin is the fastest growing drug in America last month the Center for Disease Control announced a 39 percent spike in heroin deaths from 2012 to 2013 Heroin is also one of the hardest drugs to kick. Rehab patients have a success rate of less than 20%. We just kept saying, be that percentage that makes it. You know, you read all of these horror stories, and I guess we were, we were the horror story, you know. The worst happened. Jordan spent 40 days in rehab. On his third day home, Claude and Kim walked in on something no parent should see. He wasn't answering the door, and... In the back of my mind, I think I knew. My husband had to take the doorknob off and open the door. Fortunately, we found him in our, in our home, but that's better than not finding him at all. You know, he was a kid that you thought had it all, had it all, you know, had it all going for him. I just want to die. Like, I, I mean, like the happiest moment. How could, how could this kid, surrounded by all that love, how could this happen to him? like just a heart wrenching like my heart has a hole in it I just want to relive that moment again a respectful happy young man from a close family if heroin can take down Jordan Spinano it can take down anyone oh man what a kick Spinano may have made the kick of his life but he could not kick the one thing that took it I'm Matt Lincoln for CBS 12.